Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Siri on your iPod Touch 4 or iPhone 4. Now, um, I think there was a version for iPad, but it has been lost to time. However, if I, however, if I manage to find it, if anyone manages to find it and shares it publicly, I will be making a tutorial on how to install that, but it's mostly the same as this one here. So what you want to do, you want to go to tlsroot.litten.ca and just install all of these certificates. It'll help out and it'll run faster. Now this one, the home button's broken, so I'm going to be using excessive, excessive touch, assistive, assistive touch, but it's pretty simple. After you've installed your certificate, you want to go to home, or you want to go to uh, iFile, etc, and then in your host file, uh, go to text viewer, and you want to add these bottom two lines right here. Whoops, to add these bottom two lines. So pause the video. But you just want to add this bottom two text. So add this IP address and then put spaces so that this guzoni.apple.com lines up with these other texts here. Do the same for this one and line it up. This is important because I think if you don't do this, it'll boot loop your device. So you want to just make sure you get that copy down, pause it. Alrighty. So now what you want to do, you want to go to your Cydia app. Scroll down and add this repository, repo.galactic-server.info. Once you enter that, go to Siri and find the SiriPort.ru original iOS 6. So if you press install, uh, it should say this right here. If it does not say this, you should go and find the official one. Now there's also, I think there's also will be a backup hosted on ck19r.github.io in case this one goes down but yeah there will be a backup posted in case this one doesn't work but you will need certificates so yeah you want to make sure you've added your certificates and modified your host file now all you want to do is just install it and wait alright now once it installs you want to wait for it to finish it up so it'll say reloading data loading and then it'll say restart springboard now you don't want to do this you want to go to your uh, home screen and restart your iPhone using the home button and the power button. So you want to hold those two. Since my power button is broken again, I'll just be using Power App. It's a free tweak on Big Boss Insidia. Pretty useful. But yeah, you just want to um, wait and wait for it to reboot. Okay, so if everything went right, you should be going back to your lock screen. Now, uh, all you have to do is go to your settings tab. Then you should just be going to general, so wait for it to load. It might be a little bit sluggish, but yeah, just want to go to general settings, Siri, and you want to make sure this switch is on. And if you followed any steps incorrectly, uh, then and this switch uh, just like flicks itself back off, you need to uninstall Siri port right now and run iCleaner, or else your device might be bricked. Because what happens is your Siri might work, like the switch might be flicked off, but once you reboot, it's going to end your device. So you want to be careful of that. So yeah, all you have to do now is just uh, activate Siri. Launch camera. There we go. So it just launched camera. So yeah, that's your Siri. It is different from voice control because if I turn off Siri, disable Siri, this is voice control. But if I turn it on, whoop, enable. Hello. Hi, I'm Siri. So yeah, that's how to get Siri working on your iOS uh, 6 device. Uh, you must be careful with these instructions though because if you don't follow them, it might boot, it might break your device. Anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye!